General, these antiquities have always belonged to the people of Italy. They temporarily were away. They once again belong to you. Thank you, and thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Today we are repatriating 58 antiquities, collectively valued at nearly $19 million, to their home country of Italy. These antiquities were seized from investigations into several different trafficking rings um, connected to Michael Steinhardt. These traffickers often utilized local looters to steal these antiquities from archaeological sites, specifically targeting areas that were not as well protected. Through this illegal activity, many of them were able to amass some of the largest and most prized collections of antiquities, um, selling them to the highest bidders in order to turn a profit. One of the most extraordinary pieces is this head of Athena. Again, if you want to place a dollar value on it, if you must, at least $3 million. This was on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. With the help of the Carabinieri, we were able to determine that this was in fact looted by one of uh, Italy's trafficking networks. And we are privileged to return it today. He's here now. Since then, this office has recovered almost 4,500 priceless, extraordinary antiquities, testaments, monuments to the shared cultural heritage of all humanity. Again, if you have to put a dollar value on it, valued at more than $250 million. We have convicted a dozen traffickers. We have returned to more than two dozen countries, almost 2,000 of those antiquities, with many more seizures and many more repatriations to follow throughout the remainder of the year. The District Attorney of New York, Alvin Bragg, remains committed to stopping the trafficking of antiquities in and through New York. They are pieces uh, which uh, uh, have a huge value. I'm talking about uh, artistic and historic uh, value, uh, pieces uh, which date back from the 8th to the 1st century before Christ. They belong to uh, Roman, Etruscan, Magno Greek, and uh, uh, Apulian uh, civilizations, so part uh, of, uh, of our past, our ancestors. And they belong to the community. They will go back to the uh, community to which uh, they belong and to the future uh, generations.
It's happening now because this, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, formed the Antiquities Trafficking Unit, the only one of its kind in the world in which prosecutors, investigators, and analysts are all on the same team. And we have developed partnerships around the world uh, based on that, on our makeup. Not only is it still ongoing, but you are going to see more and more seizures and convictions of antiquities traffickers because we are finally catching up to them.